To change the engine oil and filter on your Polaris Expedition XP or ADV, follow these steps. For optimal performance, always use Polaris recommended fluids as described in your owner's manual. Park the vehicle on a flat level surface in a well ventilated area and ensure the transmission is in park. Then start the engine, allow it to warm up at idle for two to three minutes, and stop the engine. Next, on XP models, lift the cargo box lever and tilt the box up. For maximum clearance, detach the cargo box shock from the base of the box. On ADV models, remove the cargo tray, release the engine access panel fasteners, and remove the panel. On North Star models, remove the rear skid plate by removing its fasteners. Next, carefully clean the area around the oil cap. Then remove the oil cap and set it aside. Next, place a drain pan under the engine crankcase. Placing a rag in the bottom of the drain pan will help prevent the splashing of oil. On non-North Star models, locate the oil drain access hole in the skid plate. Continue by cleaning the area around the oil drain plug. Then remove the drain plug and allow the oil to drain completely. Next, on non-North Star models, move to the passenger's rear wheel well and clean around the oil filter. On North Star models, move to under the vehicle and clean around the oil filter. Then use an extension, swivel, and oil filter wrench to turn the oil filter counterclockwise to remove the filter and allow the oil to drain through the hole in the front of the drain plug. Continue by using a clean dry cloth to clean the filter sealing surface on the crankcase and ensure the old O-ring is completely removed. Next, lubricate the O-ring on the new filter with a film of fresh engine oil and ensure it is in good condition. Then install the new filter and rotate it clockwise by hand until the filter gasket contacts the sealing surface. Then turn it an additional three quarters of a turn. Once the filter is installed, wipe up any residual oil. Next, clean any dirt or debris from the drain plug and ensure the sealing surfaces are free of any burrs, nicks, or scratches. Also, remove the old sealing washer and install a new one on the drain plug. Then reinstall the drain plug and torque to specification. Before continuing, clean any residual oil off the vehicle. Next, add the proper amount of the recommended oil through the oil fill cap. Do not overfill. Then reinstall the oil fill cap and wipe up any residual oil. Next, start the engine and allow it to idle for 30 seconds. Then stop the engine and inspect for oil leaks. Wait at least 15 seconds before removing the dipstick. Next, remove the dipstick and wipe with a clean shop rag. Then reinstall the dipstick fully and remove again to inspect the oil level. Ensure the oil level is within the safe range on the dipstick. Then reinstall the dipstick and wipe up any residual oil. On XP models, continue by pivoting the cargo box down and ensuring the latch is secure. On ADV models, Reinstall the cargo box access panel and ensure it is secure. On North Star models, reinstall the skid plates. Before continuing, dispose of the used oil and filter properly at your local recycling center. Once complete, 
the maintenance reminder can be reset in the ride command screen. To do this, turn the ignition switch on. Then select the drop down menu. Continue by selecting all settings in the lower right corner. Then navigate to the vehicle tab. Continue by selecting oil life and service. Then press reset and click confirm to finish. The maintenance reminder can also be adjusted and reset in the instrument cluster. For more information, see your authorized Polaris dealer or visit Polaris.com.